on coming, which means we have to keep on fighting. Emil, I'm counting on you. <sighs> I'll do my best. But there sure are a lot of monsters here. You think it's because of Ventus' core? Oh yeah, Centurions in the core state can't control their powers, so they can attract monsters without meaning to. Correct. I suspect the Garuda we encountered on the Stone Dais was drawn by Ventus's powers. But once Marta hatches the core, Ventus would wake up and all of that would stop, right? Exactly. Uh, it's scary, but I'll do my best. C 
Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. What's that? Is that a Centurion Oath? Oh, no. It's just sort of a mantra of mine. It has a nice ring to it. Do you want me to add? Come on, you're a man. Speak up. Two? Hey, don't be a jerk. Behind. Come on, you're a man, speak up. Um, well, I'm not very manly to begin with. So when I hesitate or have trouble making up my mind, it's something Marta says to encourage me. Emil, you're not supposed to tell other people about that. But it's true. That's enough! What did I say? Never mind. Just try and be more like I imagine you to be, okay? <laughs> Finally ready! Wow, it's so cute! <laughs> I thought I'd make a fruit cake. There's also a fruit salad, some fruit juice, and... Um, do you have anything with a little more substance? Oh, sorry. What would you like? I don't know, maybe a steak or something? Okay, leave it to me. One apple steak coming right up. On second thought, this would be fine. Stubborn. Okay, that was random. No, not really. You have to admit, though, you've had that same weapon equipped for a pretty long time. There's plenty of other weapons. Why not try something different for a change? I guess I like the feel of a weapon I've gotten used to. It's easier to fight with. It's not stubbornness, it's dedication. What if you had a favorite pair of shoes you wore every day, and I said, why not try a different pair and spice up your wardrobe? Yeah, but why stop wearing whatever shoes that make you feel comfortable? Yep, you're stubborn, all right. What's so wrong with being a little stubborn? Nothing. I was just thinking it'll be tough once we're married. That's all. <laughs> uh. Hey, Marta. You've been using the same equipment for a while now. You really like it that much? I'm more loyal than you might think. To my equipment, and to you, too. Huh? When did this become about me?
What's that? It's Ventus's core. That's the fake self. Didn't you all defeat it last time? No, that is Ventus. What do you mean? So it's not the fake self? Its form may be different, but its aura most certainly belongs to Ventus. What should we do? We'll have to retrieve it by force. There is no other choice. Again? I sometimes wish Ratatus would just possess me all the time so I wouldn't be afraid. You said that was the fake Sylph you guys defeated before, right? I wonder why it came back to life. Sylph's imposter must have come to life due to the dormant state of the Centurion's core. Although it lost its power when you defeated it, I assume the core caused the beast to be reborn after enough time had passed. So the winds in Asgard will die down now? Once we hatch Ventus. I'll go get it. Stop! It's dangerous! What is? When Centurions are in a core state, they're dormant. During that time, their power is out of their control. They can attract monsters and cause abnormalities in nature, even disasters. 
It's impossible for human beings to maintain their sanity while in contact with such a powerful being. What? If a normal person holds a Centurion's core, they get drawn into its chaos and their mind is destroyed. Which is why you shouldn't even think about touching it. I see. I'm sorry I didn't ask you first, but what about you, Marta? I have Ratatosk's protection. I'll be fine. Anyway, it doesn't take long to hatch. All right, Lady Marta, please release the Centurion's core. Right. Ventus has awoken. As Ventus's powers return, as a knight of Ratatosk, Emil should also awaken to new powers. Don't we have to befriend some monsters to get the Centurion's power back? Right. Ventus is the Centurion of Wind, so we need to get Wind Elemental Monsters to join us. Please don't forget Darkness Elemental Monsters as well. I'd like for my powers to return. I know.
it! It looks like the Garudas are gone! This should put an end to the gusts! Nice work, Marta. Yes, all of our hard work paid off. Colette, are you okay? You look a bit down. Huh? Are you worried about touching the core? There's no need to worry. Touching the core for only such a short time shouldn't... That's not it. I'm not worried about me. It's about Lloyd. He's collecting Centurion's cores, right? That would mean... Colette, we're after Lloyd. We don't know where the Centurion's cores are, but if we follow Lloyd, he's sure to take us to them. That's why you should come with us. And when we find Lloyd, you can warn him about how dangerous it is. Thank you, Emil, but I'm going to go my own way from here on out. Why? If you're looking for Lloyd... Lloyd has a Rayard, a type of machine that can fly in the sky. So I might not be able to catch up with them on foot. That's why I'm going to go look for Lloyd by air, like this. Okay. Colette. So, um, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for everything. I can never make it up to you, but I want to do everything I can. Don't apologize anymore. I mean, honestly, I can't forgive you for what happened to my mother. But as soon as I saw you, I knew you never meant for that to happen to Palma Costa. Marta! I've never met anyone as kind and caring as you. Thank you. We're friends, right? Right. What a lovely scene. Not that I disagree, but things like that make you sound stuffy. Um, do you think it would be okay if I went with you two to see the mayor before we part? Of course. Right, Emil? Sure, let's go. So, Tanabi, you're a Centurion, right? What exactly makes a Centurion anyway? Allow me to explain. We Centurions, numbering eight in total, are the faithful servants of Lord Ratatosk, the Lord of all monsters. We each belong to a particular element, and with the aid of the monsters under our control, we monitor the levels of mana in the world. You might call us the Guardians of the World's Mana. That sounds sort of like the Symphonian Eight. Hey, I remember that. That's the story of the Eight Warriors blessed